The sixth Saturn I flight vehicle, SA-6, was successfully launched by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration from Cape Kennedy on May 28th. After ignition, the eight H-1 engines build up thrust for approximately three seconds before hold down arm release and liftoff. This sequence was photographed at 400 frames per second compared to the normal 24 to produce the slow motion effect. The flight was the sixth successful test of the one and one half million pound thrust Saturn I booster and the second successful flight of the liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen S4 second stage. The first unmanned boiler plate model of the Apollo spacecraft was carried by SA-6 into Earth orbit along with the empty S-4 stage. The SA-6 satellite, weighing a total of 37,300 pounds, completed 50 orbits before re-entering the atmosphere and disintegrating over the Pacific Ocean. This sequence, photographed from a tracking aircraft, emphasizes the size of the flame or plume compared to the vehicle. The pencil-shaped shock pattern, or Mach cone, a factor of the velocity and expansion of exhaust gases occurring at Mach 1 can be seen just below the plume. One of the eight H1 engines of the S1 stage cut off 24 seconds prematurely due to a turbo pump assembly failure. The disturbance or flare up caused by the cutoff can be seen at the upper left of the flame pattern. Deviation from the planned trajectory caused by the engine out was corrected by the guidance system. Continuing to track the vehicle, we see a typical flare-up as inboard engine cutoff occurs. A few seconds later, the outboard engines cut off. Then the Ullage rockets are fired, retro rockets are fired, and the S4 stage separates and moves off to the right. The orange flash just in front of the S4 is caused by jettisoning of the Apollo escape tower. As indicated on this SA-6 model, eight movie cameras were mounted in capsules near the top of the S-1 stage to photograph propulsion and fuel operations. Two cameras were placed at each of four locations along the fin lines midway between the retro rockets. Four cameras monitored external activity. The other four monitored internal activity through fiber optics cables located inside the interstage. All cameras were ejected and recovered. This is film shot by one of the external view cameras at fin number three looking forward. The red protruding object at center is one of the four Ullage rockets on the S4 stage. The liquid hydrogen vent line can be seen along the lower portion of the vehicle. On the right side of the vehicle, we can see one of the blowout panels through which gaseous oxygen from the interstage is vented for S4 engine locks chill down. This photography was started 107 seconds after liftoff and the action is in slow motion, not quite half the speed of the real event. Blowout panel initiation occurs as locks chill down begins. Gaseous oxygen can now be seen rushing out through the blowout panel. There are eight such panels all blown open simultaneously. Next, the Ullage rockets are ignited. Now the S4 stage separates from the booster and the engines have started to burn. Jettisoning of the escape tower appears as a flash and a shock wave. As the booster tumbles, the horizon comes into view at upper left. The curvature appears concave instead of convex due to the effect of distortion in the wide angle lens. 
As viewed from another camera located at fin number one, we watch the same sequence of events. Panel blowout, firing of ullage and retro rockets, and separation. A third camera at fin number two was designed to start at 30 seconds and run through 92 seconds. As the vehicle reaches Mach 1, sunlight is refracted through the shock wave to produce this unusual effect. This particular camera was designed to view vibration of the blowout panel during Mach 1 and maximum dynamic pressure. The checkered pattern was painted on to aid in analysis of vibration effects. This S4 separation sequence was photographed through a fiber optics cable located inside the interstage. Swirling gas around the engines at separation was oxygen, resulting from LOX chill down. Another fiber optics camera was designed to view the LOX SOX dispersal system. The flashing light at center is a strobe light used to illuminate another photographic sequence. Four of the RL-10 engines of the S4 stage can be seen. After blowout panel initiation, the S4 stage separates and lifts out of the interstage. Sunlight shining through the blowout panels as the booster begins to tumble creates the ghost-like effect moving through the interstage. This sequence was photographed by one of the cameras as it was being ejected from the booster. The white spots are solid particles of oxygen floating by. <laughs> 